All right. Official welcome to Unit 4, Area Study um, 1 of Biology. Um, we're finally, we're, we're nearly at the end. Um, today we're going to be talking about, uh, Unit 4 Biology is all about um, evolution. And, and the thing that drives evolution is this thing that we call mutations, which is something that often we look at in terms of something that's really bad. Um, but mutations can also be completely benign and not not actually do anything and then can also even be good okay um so in your books it's nature of biology 2 chapter 9 pause the video here and have a go at the three quick questions and then let me know so we can um go through this together in class so in the study design we want to look at changes in the genetic makeup of a population so we're actually looking at changes in the genes of a population we want to look at the qualitative treatment all right which is really handy because it means you don't have to look at any numbers but the qualitative treatment of the causes of changing allele frequencies in a population's gene pool including types of mutations and there's three main types the point frame shift and block mutation as a source of new alleles all right and really quickly just if you don't remember from year 10 science alleles are different versions of the same gene for example, the blue eye allele or the brown eye allele are two different versions of the eye color gene. All right. So as a source of new alleles, also chromosomal abnormalities, which are called aneuploidy and polyploidy. All right. And then next time we're going to look at the second half of this dot point. It's a very big dot point in study design. And it sort of actually covers pretty much all of year 10 biology. So why are we so different from each other? If we look at all of these people in these pictures, they're, they're all part of that um, Homo sapiens species, right? which is us. Um, but very clearly, there are some very significant differences between every single individual here. And then not only that, but why is there so much diversity within groups of living things? So just like us humans, if you look at dogs, they're even more different than us. So this German Shepherd is the exact same um, species as this Cocker Spaniel, but they are very, very different, okay? And look at these flowers, same, same story, same story with these zooplankton, okay? So the reason why is because of this thing that's called a mutation. A mutation is just simply a random change in the genetic composition of a cell. When we say genetic composition, we're talking about some kind of change to the DNA of a cell. So this is categorized by the cause of the mutation, the location of the mutation, the amount of genetic material that we change, the type of change, how we're actually changing, and lastly, but possibly most importantly, the effect of that mutation on specific proteins. So let's look at the two different causes of mutation. They're quite simple. The first cause is the cause that we often talk about and we think of. Um, and these are induced mutations. So for example, the UV rays from the sun, they cause um, induced mutations in our, um, our skin, for example, or radiation. If you watch Chernobyl, that awesome new series on HBO, um, they, there's lots of radiation and that causes direct mutations to our DNA. But most importantly, actually, in biology, um, in the grand scheme of team, things are spontaneous mutations, which are simply mutations that happen when your cells are trying to make copies of its DNA or it's trying to make a protein. And for some reason, something was misread. And, and so these mutations just sp spontaneously come up. Okay. So also the location of this mutation is very important. When we say location mutation, we actually mean location on our body, okay? There's two different kinds of mutations. There's somatic cell mutations and germline mutations, all right? Pretty much germline mutations are mutations that happen here, okay? <laughs> in your, in your um, reproductive cells, and, and more specifically, it has to be the cells that make up your, the eggs for women and the sperm for men, so these are your germline cells. Somatic cells are everything else. Okay, why is this important? Okay, is that 
if you're getting a mutation in your germline, um, you're going to pass on that mutation. So you pass on germline mutations. And this is what drives evolution, which we'll talk about later, okay? All right, so the next thing we're going to talk about is the amount of genetic material that we can change. All right, so here, hopefully you recognize this is a karyotype or a karyograph. Um, so we can actually go and change the entire karyotype. So here we have a human karyotype. Remember that humans are diploid, so they are 2N, okay? And we can go and add an extra version of every single one of these chromosomes. So here we are creating a change. I'm not going to draw them all, but we are making a change to the whole carrier type, okay? Or I could go and only pick one of these pairs, a chromosome, for example, 15, and only have a version of 15. Or if I went to 17, I could delete one of these. So we're not making a change to the whole carrier type. We're only making a change by making copies of specific chromosomes. Or on the other hand, I could go and cut off a chunk of a chromosome. Or I could go and just simply change a little sliver of a chromosome. And that amount of genetic material is obviously going to make a big difference in the, in the severity of that mutation. Let's talk about the name of each one of these. So polyploidy is that first change where we're actually changing whole sets of chromosomes. So if a gamete or a sperm has a full extra uh, set of chromosomes, this is what we call polyploidy, okay? Um, this happens when fertilization occurs. The zygote will have an extra full set of chromosomes. So for example, humans are normal, normally diploid. They are two in, so they have a set of chromosomes from, from mum like this one, and a set of chromosomes from dad. So every single one of their chromosomes, one's from mum, one's from dad, one's from mum, one's from dad, okay? On the other hand, if we have one less set of chromosomes, we only have one full set of chromosomes, we're what we call haploid. If we had three, we'd be triploid, four is tetraploid, and so on, so on, so on. So that's called polyploidy. Aneuploidy, on the other hand, is the addition or the loss of only one chromosome from a cell. All right, so we, we often refer this as, um, for humans, we say it's 2n plus 1 or 2n minus 1, okay? And this happens actually during um, metaphase and anaphase. We don't get a, a proper separation of the chromosomes in this stage, and that leaves us with gametes, which are what we call n plus 1 or n minus 1 gametes. They're going to either provide an extra chromosome or take away a chromosome from the whole um, carrier type of that organism or that cell, okay? Um, so we can see here the most common form of aneuploidy in human is what we call trisomy 21 or Downs syndrome, okay? And that's because we have an extra copy of chromosome 21, okay? So that's a form of aneuploidy. Uh, we can also change to the, the actual structure of a chromosome. We often call these a block mutation, and it involves changing the entire sections of chromosomes, potentially changing lots, hundreds potentially, or at least dozens of genes in this process. Okay, there's different kinds of block mutations. We can have duplication. So if you look, this little section of this chromosome has simply been duplicated and added underneath. We can have an inversion. So this section of the chromosome has been flipped over here, a deletion um, where this section of chromosome is just being deleted and it's it's missing now. Okay, a translocation is pretty cool. Um, it's this specific section of chromosome for some reason might swap with a different um, chromosome. All right, that's a translocation, and they're all going to make big changes. Um, lastly, the actual most important type of mutation for us in biology in the evolutionary sense is what we call a point mutations. These are changes involving a single nucleotide, so a single ATCG in the DNA strand. And here we can watch um, the four different kinds of point mutations. Oh, actually, well, four different kinds here, yeah, sorry. Um, so, ready? 
is the original. If we substitute one, that's called a substitution. In we, if we just insert an extra one, that's called an assertion. If we delete, that's a deletion. And if we flip two around, that's called an inversion, which is pretty easy to remember. All right, um, stop the video here and call me over because we're gonna have a crack at looking at the effect of different point mutations on proteins, okay? And we're gonna use the amino acid starter kit to do this.